Welcome, I'm Aloxav, and in today's video I'm going to talk about the Portable Constructor. It is basically a workbench that you can craft to yourself and you're going to need to craft the initial devices, weapons, tools to start the game. So what you do is you open up with tab your inventory, you can go to Survival Constructor and you'll find the Portable Constructor here. It has this little symbol which means it's locked, so I'm going to have to open up the tech tree which I can open up by clicking this button up here or pressing F3. Once I open up this menu, I can go to MISC and I can scroll down and unlock the portable constructor. You can gain points to be able to unlock it by collecting plants, harvesting trees, rocks and animals that you might encounter on the way. So now I can open up the survival constructor again and it shows right here but it's red because I need 3 iron ore which is showing up down there in red so I'm gonna have to find some iron bearings you can find iron underneath the ground but for this little amount it's just easier to find one of these they always look like this this is the iron bearing with this bluish color so you pick up the survival tool resource mode and you harvest this bearing It only gave me two, I need another one, but I found an explorer's token because I just discovered I am. So let's find another bearing, that's plenty of them around here. So now I can craft the portable constructor, I'm gonna queue it up and wait for it to craft. The constructor is done, it shows up there in the output box and I can put it in my toolbar and place it down. You can place it everywhere and you can pick it back up again. Just be mindful that if you have stuff inside, you can still pick it up and the things will drop on the floor. So be careful that before you pick it up, you collect everything inside. The great advantage about the portable constructor is that it has infinite capacity. You can pretty much put everything, blocks with any volume going there. It has a certain limit for the amount of things, but you can pretty much put everything into its input box and it doesn't require any fuel. And as you can see, with the resources that I put in, I'm already able to craft a bunch of stuff except these red things, which means I still don't have the resources. In the portable constructor, you can craft food items, you can craft meds, weapons tools and ammo you can also craft building blocks this is actually what you're gonna need to start a base you can also do components and fuel and you can do devices not only for a base not only for yourself but also for small and hover vessels and you have filters basically this all objects shows everything that it can do but if you just want to do a block for a base. You should use the filter placeable on bases because it's very easy to actually craft a block that goes on a hover vessel thinking that you can use it on a base. For example, if you go to building blocks, it's very easy to craft this one and then you see that you can put it on a base. But if you use the filter placeable on bases, these are the blocks that only go on bases. So it's a very useful uh, f tool to use, this filter on the right hand side. It also has a filter for capital vessels, for small vessels and for hover vessels. It's pretty easy to make a mistake. Let's say for example I queue up a hundred biofuel and I realize that I actually want to mechanical components. I can cancel it. And by the way, I queued up 100 by pressing Ctrl left click. And I can use the same buttons to cancel it. But it will not cancel the last one. So what you can do is actually turn it off up here. It will stop production and now you can actually cancel the last one. And then you can turn it off and queue up whatever you wanted. If you just want to do 10, you can use Shift left click. It starts by itself. Once again, you realize I made a mistake. You can cancel it using again shift left click. But then the last one you can stop. So you can turn it off and stop it like this. Once it actually stopped crafting something, it will show up here on the output area. It has plenty of room. You can actually craft a bunch of stuff and go on your way. And then if you want to, 
or if you basically just don't have room to actually pick it up you can put it in an input box because it allows you uh, to put everything you want in here it also shows on the map quite not be very visible so in fact I'm gonna pick it up and put it elsewhere because it's conflicting with this thing and I can't really show on the map so I place it all the way down there so that I can actually see it on the map if we open up with M you can see it shows on the on the map right there and I'm actually turning on and off the signals with F6 but if you actually want it visible at all times you can open up the map with M you can right click on it no that's not the one the portable constructor and you can set a waypoint and accept and this way it will remain visible with this yellow icon every single time even when all the things disappear from the ping of the detector so that's a portable constructor a very useful workbench that's gonna be useful all the way to end game really because you can basically use it to crap stuff for free if you want to but it's a must to have it's very easy to get you just need to find a couple iron bearings and you can right away start crafting some stuff thank you for watching and until next time